Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of A Chapter a Day Keeps the Doctor Away. My name is Alan, otherwise known as He Sweet, and I'm from ReverseThings.com as well as the Speakeasy Podcast. This time I'm looking at Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches, Chapter 101. Take care. And we see from last time, Yamada is offering Subasa the ability to save her from her power destroying herself or at least making her miserable and all she has to do is kiss him so Subas is like whatever I'm out of here psychopath <laughs> I'm only gonna kiss someone I like and you are some dude who I barely know bye and so she Basically, goes out and locks the door behind her. And he's like, hey, let me out of here. Look, man. Think about it. If, what do you call it? Your, your power will work on me. And that's how, one of the ways I'm going to help you. And look, if, you know, your power didn't, if your power did work on me, why would I work for it up? This is obviously why I'm a member of the student council. And she's like, well, it does kind of make sense. There really is no other reason for, you know, a loser delinquent like you to be on the student council. I mean, everybody did think the president was crazy for picking you. He's like, all right, that's kind of insulting, but it worked, so whatever. And she doesn't accept but she's like, I'll think about it. And then we switch over and we find out that at least she's lifted the power on Nene. Who's all like, whatever, I don't care about the girl anymore. I try to help her. She powered me. You know, she could go die in a fire. If you want us to help that, you know, be, go right ahead. But, and... As uh, that little hissy fit from Nene is going on, uh, her fr you know, Subasa's friend on the team gives him a note, and it says, "All right, fine, whatever. I'll try your kiss plan. Let's meet at the train station." And so the president's like, "All right," and Nene's like. And so we start off with him at the train station informing Sarashi, who once again also has the weirdest kind of like dead eyed I am um, avatar. And he's like, All right, I'm gonna go and kiss this girl and try to help her. And she's like, All right, if you gotta. He's like, are you okay with this? And she's like, all right, if you gotta. And so, you know, understandably, Mata's like, no, <laughs> that's Super Professor aggressive. She hates this. She hates me. No. <laughs> but before we can uh, get more into that, Subasa arrives and his, you know, your mom is like, all right, let's get down to business. Let's just get this kiss out of the way and then I'll show you what I can do. And she's like, no, we've got to do it in the right place. And they wind up going to an amusement park and every place they go, she swears, nah, this is the place that we can kiss. And so they wind up going to, you know, haunted house. And, you know, they just get scared by monsters. They go on the teacups, on the Ferris wheel, on a bunch of roller coasters. You know, they have lunch together. And Yamada's like, all right. You're not, you're not going anywhere. This is just a day at an amusement park. And she's like, please, please, the Ferris wheel. Last thing. Please, please, I'll explain everything. And she's like, look, man, I got all dolled up. Not that you cared. And this is my first time in makeup and a dress. And I just wanted to, you know, my first kiss, you know, to be super romantic and be, you know, 
after a trip to the amusement park where we spend all day on the rides like a couple and we have a meal together and then we finally kiss on the first wheel and he's like man I guess you are a more girly girl than everything would let on although he should have really been tipped up tipped off by her like honey bear <laughs> like it's got bears and honey and bees and flowers her stationery should have tipped him off I guess he just assumed that it must have been the you know the other girl on the team's stationery but and so you know she she beats around the bush and she's like really if I stop using the power we can't win anymore and no one's gonna listen to me and, and you might have just you know this definitely alpha male and finally kisses her and the first thing he does is uses the power on her to make her um, not use her power on the team anymore and the second thing he orders to do is never give up no matter what happens even if they lose all their games and nobody talks to her don't just run away anymore face your problems head on and even if you fail face them with courage and she starts to well up and obviously takes what he says to heart partially because she has been ordered to but more because Yamada is that cool and so we see that she stopped using the power on her teammates and they're still winning and she's like hey Mara maybe we should go on dates another time and once again Nene is like Grr. and then as I predicted Yamada uses his power to make, you know, his other fellow student council members do very silly dog-like things. And Nina's like, yeah, this isn't going to work. We need, like, totally another power. Because no one is going to want to be under Yamada's control for, like, more than a day. We So... so Kind of worked out that I'm like, yeah, they're going to need another power because this just isn't going to work out for them. So, ha, huh, I was really expecting the friend to play more of a part. I feel like, I mean, it would kind of be a waste if they didn't use her. And I feel like Tsubasa is going to come back again. Definitely. I mean, she's one of the new seven witches, so I can't see her basically dropping off the face of the earth i mean she's certainly a new power more for yamada so um so she's gonna stick around i'm just wondering what her friend is gonna do because that, i mean they just she just might be you know ease of story and that she won't actually do anything past that point but i feel like they gave her enough of a appearance and a little bit of a personality that I feel like she's going to come back definitely with Tsubasa, but I could be totally wrong with that. I could just be like reading way too much into just a random member of her team. But I'm thinking they're not going to move on to the next wish, which I think they're going to be looking at that whole text conversation because I really feel like Yamada is going to be freaking out about this. I mean, theoretically, Sarashi has said, look, I don't really like it. And it kind of pisses me off that you have to go around kissing other girls. But I understand. Don't think I'm like, woohoo, yeah, go out and kiss other girls. Or even like totally neutral, like Spock-like. How I might normally come off like it is only logical that he must kiss other girls. My Vulcan emotion, my Vulcan lack of emotions does not let me get upset about this because as a Vulcan, I don't get upset. More like, look, man, yeah, it does kind of eat me up and I really wish you didn't have to do it. But I get it and I get 
that these kisses aren't romantic kisses. But, you know. But I feel like that's going to come up again. Because we've seen Sarashi's kind of... Like, look, yeah, I'm not happy about it. But, you know. I am mostly a rational person. So, I'm not happy. But I understand. And I feel like... We still haven't had Yamada's, like, come to grip with this. Especially since now he's actually had to kiss one of these girls. And, you know, definitely he's seen the effect of how, you know, how it had a romantic, um, you know, just a whole romantic context. And probably earned him another uh, girl interested in him. So... I think that's going to be the next chapter. But, you know, it could be something silly about the supernatural crop or something. And that could have just been a joke. I don't know. But I'm thinking that uh, the author, you know, doesn't just throw out stuff like that all the time randomly. I usually think it has a purpose. And so, I mean, the other witch might, you know, the second witch... Or a second witch might show up in the next chapter. But I think they are mostly focused on that text message. But we'll see. But a uh, good chapter. Um, and uh, see you guys next time.